Six Storm Shield Forecast with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Well, showers and thunderstorms came into the area. Here's a time lapse of what it looked like from our tower cam at NBC 26. You see a shelf cloud that came through the area and behind it. Very heavy rainfall, but it only came down for a short period of time. And take a look what happened behind it. It was almost as if uh, nothing ever happened. The sunshine returned and the water on the roadways pretty much uh, dried out. And now we're seeing uh, mostly sunny skies behind this line of th showers and thunderstorms that did prompt some uh, multiple uh, severe warnings from tornado warnings to severe thunderstorm warnings. Right now the line is moving right over Lake Michigan, so the severe weather threat pretty much is over. We just had the last counties uh, expired from that tornado watch. We have a strong line of storms. Actually, there is a severe thunderstorm warning in parts of the UP of Michigan. But as for us, we are now out of the woods uh, for any risk of strong storms. There's still a few showers and storms off towards the northwest near Rhinelander and even moving towards Menominee County. But none of these will be posing any severe weather risk and we can't rule out the potential for maybe an isolated shower or thunderstorm that will develop over the next coming hours. But some pretty impressive reports that came out. Uh, first one out towards the mountain area. We had many reports. Uh, these are all from uh, reports from either uh, folks or storm spotters. This is a mountain. Many trees snapped down and uh, uprooted. Uh, then take a look at uh, County Road W. Over 50 trees are, are, are snapped and uprooted and also power out in parts of the area. And then down towards Bree, they also had some uh, ripped up trees. In the Green Bay area, we also had our fair share of uh, 52 mile per hour wind gusts in uh, Ashwaubenon at the Green Bay Airport. And then in Howard, just west of Howard, 60 mile per hour wind gusts. And then in parts of uh, Green Bay and Howard, I should say, we had a tree that fell on a house and split in half as well. And also in Appleton, we also had some damage as well. Trees coming down and also some uh, photos coming in from the Grand Chute area on social media. Now also with a heavy rainfall, well, we do have a flood advisory until 7 o'clock. That's because of the heavier rainfalls and some of the training thunderstorms that fell over parts of Menominee County in the UP of Michigan. Over the next few hours, the showers and storms will move out and we will start to clear out. Notice how our high res computer model showing a few pop up showers. Can't roll that out for the next couple of hours, but by midnight, it's all out. We will be starting to see some clearing skies and by tomorrow, it's going to be a pretty comfortable day. Temperatures a little cooler uh, in the mid eighties and also dew points much drier, so it will be better to breathe that air uh, for both Monday and Tuesday as we have hardly a cloud in the sky. Now as you get towards Wednesday, which is uh, 4th of July and also Thursday, we do have another chance of a few isolated showers or even some thunderstorms. 74 degree dew point right now. South and southwest winds 14 miles per hour. Our sunset uh, after uh, right around 830. 86 in Clintonville, 85 when we pass. Watoma and 84 in both Appleton and Oshkosh. Two points still sticky out there, but don't worry. By tomorrow, we will start to feel them. Uh, those two points drop. We did hit 91 to 6 and 90 so far uh, this season, and our average high temperature for this time of year is 79. Record was 100 back in a two uh, 1910. 64 degrees overnight tonight. Can't rule out another isolated shower or storm, but for the most of us, pretty much done. And then uh, for tomorrow, highs back into the mid 80s, a little cooler than what we saw today. Winds out of the south and uh, west southwest, 5 to 15 miles per hour. 90 does return on Thursday, near 90 on uh, 4th of July. And then temperatures do cool back down into the upper 70s to lower 80s by the end of the work week into the weekend. So at least a better weekend yeah. and no chance of thunderstorms. Yeah, for looking, looking forward to having the beginning. There was so much <laughs> inconsistency. It's, you know, lightning and rain and really right. hot. So everywhere. Yeah, it's been a pretty chaotic. All right, thank you so much, Gina. We'll still ahead on NBC.